Okay, I wanted to work a couple more problems, like the problems in your homework, because I know this isn't in the lecture, so. Um, so I have a problem, let's do, I'm just going to work kind of example problems. So 24a to the minus 19th, b to the 10th, over 20a cubed, b to the 4th. And really, the first step in almost all math problems is just looking at the problem and making some observations. And here the observation is that I have kind of a group of numbered things, and I have a group of A things, and I have a group of B things. And that's really exactly how you do this problem. So this problem is exactly the same as 24 over 20, and I can think of it like there. A to the minus 19th over A cubed times b to the 10th over b to the 4th. And this is just moving in the reverse direction of how multiplication of fractions goes, right? If I multiply two fractions, I multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So I can also split them like this. Okay. So 24 over 20, I'm not going to do that on my calculator because I think it wants um, a fraction here. I'll just reduce this so 24 and 20 are both divisible by 4 so if I divide 24 by 4 it's 6 and I get a 5 so I think it's 6 fifths. a to the minus 19th over a to the third that is subtraction so it's a to the minus 19 minus a positive 3 and eventually that will give me I'm going to do one more line and finish that a to the minus Negative 19 minus 3 is minus 22, right? Um, okay, and then really that's, I still have to do this B piece, but that's really 1 over A to the 22nd power because of how negative exponents work, right? So A to the minus 22nd power is 1 over A to the 22nd power, or 1 over A to the minus 22nd power is just A to the 22nd, right? This negative in the exponent just moves it, um, to the top or bottom. Okay, so now I still have to do this B piece. This is still subtraction. B to the 10th minus 4 is B to the 6th. And I still have B to the 6th, which in fraction form I think of as B to the 6th over 1. And so then I just multiply across. This is 6 times 1, that's just 6. B to the 6th over 5A to the 22nd power. I'm going to put this in in my math lab to catch any errors that I might have made because I'm just doing these. Before you all watch this video. Good. Okay. Next question. So the next question I get looks something like this. 7x to the 20th, y to the 14th to the 4th power. So this is something to the power, this, because this is all multiplication in here, this distributes to each of these pieces. So this is 7 to the 4th, x to the 20th to the 4th, and y to the 14th to the 4th. This does not work the same way if I have x plus x to the 20th plus y to the 14th to the 4th. You cannot absolutely cannot distribute this to each piece. It's not the same thing. Okay, so this thing is like four copies of this. So it's that you then have to multiply out, which we never do, right? So you have to foil all of these out. I'm not going to write these, but it's four copies of these, right? One, two, another one, another one, right? That's what that means. Okay, so I'm going back to the actual problem. 7 to the 4th power. I do not know what that is, um, but I'm going to use my calculator to figure out what it is. So I'm going to just plug that in. I mean, I know 7 squared is 49. But I get 2,401. Okay. X to the 20th to the 4th. This x to the 20th to the 4th power means that I multiply and I get multiply exponents, so I get 20 times 4. So 2401, 20 times 4 is 80, right? 
So it's different. People routinely get this confused. This is different from x to the 20 times x to the 4th. This is x to the 24th. You add them. Here you add. Here, when you raise a power to another power, right, then you multiply. Okay, same thing for y. So this should be y 14 times 4. Uh, 14 times 4, uh, I think, I want to say it's 56. But I just, like, if you're at all, there we go, 56. Look at that. So many years of math work. 2401, x to the 80th, y to the 56. Good. Let's do one more. Oh, yeah, this one. Negative 2 to the m, oh, negative 2 times m to the minus 15th, n to the 11th power, all raised to the negative third power. Okay. Again, this distributes. I want to say there's, and I'm going to show you like one way to do this and you can do this. Maybe I'll do it another second way, but like we'll do it like this. But the thing I like to do is maybe distribute this. So this is minus two to the minus third power, m to the minus 15th to the minus third power and n to the 11th to the minus third power. Okay. Now, my own preference is to kind of figure out what these exponents do. So like this minus two to the minus third, I don't really like, look, I need to do minus two cubed, but this negative in the exponent right there is causing me a problem. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna move everything into the denominator and now this is one over minus two cubed and I get rid of that thing and then I can just do negative two times negative two times negative two. So that makes my life easier. This is the power rule again. It's negative 15 times negative three, negative 15 times negative three, and same thing here, n to the 11th times negative three. And then I'm gonna simplify those. So now this denominator is negative two times negative two times negative two. If you're putting that into your calculator, it's in parentheses, negative two and then cubed. If you put in negative two cubed, you'll get the same answer here. You'll get negative eight. Um, but sometimes when you do this, you'll lose the negative. So you have to be careful here. You have to do that. Okay. Cause like if this is negative two to the fourth power, this is not, this is now positive 16, right? And so if you put negative two to the fourth power, your calculator will give you negative 16 cause it thinks you mean this. So your calculator is using the order of operations. Your calculator knows PEMDAS, so you have to be careful. Okay, but that's an aside. So I'm over here, negative 15 times negative three is 45 and it's positive because a negative times a negative is positive and then n to the minus 33 and that will eventually move into the denominator. So the stuff I have in the numerator here I have a one or maybe I'll write this as fractions first so that y'all can see this. So this is one over negative eight. This is times m to the 45. I'm writing all these as fractions over one and this is one over n to the 33rd power. And then I'm going to multiply. So across the top, I really get m to the 45th power over negative 8 n to the 33rd power. So let me try and put this in. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, and let me know if you have any questions.